there, everyone. This is Kirsten. As most of you know, I've recently joined the Launchbox team and I'm super excited about everything that's um, happening and that we're doing. Um, I could not feel more blessed to be a part of this community and this team. It's been great, a really great opportunity, um, and I'm so, so thankful for it. Um, but the plan is from this point on for me to make a lot of videos. So I will be making them about every week at least. Um, for the most part, they will have to do with news and new stuff. Um, but we're also going to add some really fun things in there too. And so definitely keep um, updated and keep watching our vids um, to see what's coming up. I can't believe that it's already Friday. I did some out-of-state traveling this week, and so I feel like my days are so jumbled and messed up. But we do have some super exciting news for you guys. Um, the first being that we released 6.7 this week. Um, hopefully, you have all gotten a chance to look at that and to see what's different and see all the changes. Um, Jason has been working so hard on this. And so it'd be so cool if you guys would just check that out and make sure you report any bugs or anything that you found um, that you think should be changed for the next beta. Some of you were seeing issues with big box screenshots. Um, they weren't really centered in the game view. So Jason fixed that along with a ton of other bugs. If you watched his developer session stream on Wednesday, you would see all the things he changed. If not, you can still look that up on YouTube for an overview. You can also look at the change log on Launchbox itself and see all the new changes and new features for this new update. Like I said, there are some new features. Um, that's always the most exciting part of um, the new releases is the new stuff that you get to enjoy. And one of the biggest things is that there is now a feature for using different image types for each platform. I'm so excited about this because I've seen so many requests for this exact thing. Another awesome thing is that there's a new default rocket launcher emulator that makes rocket launcher integration so much easier. Um, I'm super happy about that. I'm always all about the easy way. And so this is super cool. And actually Simply Austin just put out an awesome tutorial on integrating Launchbox and Rocket Launcher. So make sure you check that out. You will not regret it. It is um, so much easier and so much easier to understand. And so check that video out. Along with that, there are more things you need to check out. Jason has put out two tutorials on creating custom themes and views. Um, there will be a ton more in the future, but make sure you look at these. We all know Jason is a genius. He's great at communicating. And so these videos are awesome and definitely worth the watch. Along with custom views and themes, they have been extended to allow better styling and editing with Visual Editor. And there's now support for animated GIFs. So check all that stuff out. We're really excited about it. That's about it for what we've done this week. Um, as, as I said earlier, Jason has been working so hard to make this software great, but he could not do it at all without you guys and without the feedback and suggestions and requests that you guys give us every day. So we are so thankful for you. We appreciate you more than you know. Um, and as I said, stay tuned for more really fun videos. We're super excited about the future of LaunchBox and super excited for you guys to all experience it. We've been talking about a lot of cool stuff we're going to do. So um, keep updated. Stay tuned. Watch our videos. You won't regret it. And thank you so much. Have a great day.